Hey, barbecue family, this is Kenyatta Robinson. Welcome to the Backyard Smoke Master Barbecue Channel. Around a month ago, a company called Smokin' Pecan started showing up in my Facebook feed, and I have never heard of this company, but what they were pitching caught my interest. As you see here on the box, it says 100% pecan shell pellets. So I reached out to them to ask if they would be willing to send me a sample and they readily agreed. And they sent me this box, this 20 pound box, so that I could check their product out. There are no strings or conditions attached. They just sent the box to me and then they just asked me to let them know what I thought about their product. So. I'm going to take a look at it and form my own opinion, positive or negative. Everything is just going to be coming from my own opinion. Now, let me tell you why their ads caught my attention. And I'm just going to read this straight from the back of the box. It says 100% natural pecan shell pellets. Smoking pecan pellets are 100% pecan shell fuel pellets that can be used for cooking, barbecuing, and smoking. Our pellets are all natural and chemical free. No wood was used in the creation of our product. They are excellent, sustainable alternative to wood pellets. Pecan shell pellets give a robust flavor that works well with all types of food, from beef to vegetables and beyond. Get inspired and fire up that smoker. And then I see at the bottom here, it says patent pending. So I'm gonna get this box open and get my first look at what these pecan shell pellets look like. There's a look. I mean, they look just like your typical pellet but they definitely, the color has a different look to it. Definitely much darker. You know, it looks like an actual pecan. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna compare how the smoke flavor is. I wanna see if I can tell the difference between the smoke flavor generated by these pecan shell generated pellets versus the typical pellet that you get from other companies. And one of the challenges that I've always had with pellets in general is that it's very difficult to know that you're getting 100% of the flavor that's described on the box. Most of the pellet companies use oak or alder wood as a filler. So usually when you get pecan pellets from other companies, it's usually gonna be some type of a blend. And the challenge is we don't know what percentage of the blend is comprised of pecan wood. We don't know if it's 80% pecan, 60%, maybe it's only 10%. We usually don't disclose the percentages of the blend or it's very difficult to find. For the comparison part of the video, after I do my first cook with the smoking pecans, I'm gonna do a second cook. Here I have a bag of pecan pellets made by Traeger. But before we get more into Traeger, just to give you an example of some of the others that are available, I'm a big fan of lumberjack pellets, but when I took a deeper dive, it turns out that the Lumberjack Pecan Blend is 60% red oak, 40% pecan. Another popular alternative is Bear Mountain Pecan Pellets. They state that their pellets are 100% hardwood. Here we have Traeger, and similar to Bear Mountain, it says premium hardwood pellets. And then it also says on the bag, natural hardwood blend. They're disclosing that it is some type of a hardwood blend, but they're not stating what that blend is. Let's take a look at the back of the bag. Flavor matters. Wood isn't just the fuel, it's the ingredient. When you choose Traeger, you're getting the most trusted hardwood pellets in the market. 
As the inventors of the wood pellet grill, Traeger has dedicated over 30 years to developing a premium blend of hardwoods with the compact cell structure needed for a dependable burn, low amounts of ash, and the perfect wood-fired flavor. We've crafted a proprietary blend of pellets with no binding agent that contains the ideal moisture to smoke ratio, giving you clean, robust flavor. Our U.S. mills pr process 100% virgin hardwood, ensuring the quality and purity of our product from sawmill to shelf. Traeger Mills only we process all natural cooking wood pellets and nothing else. They're as dedicated to their craft as we are. So that all sounds good, but again, we don't know what the percentage makeup of the blend is. For the sake of comparison, here's a handful of the smoking pecan and uh, Traeger pellets. And you can clearly see one is considerably darker in color than the other. The smoking pecans, more of a darker brown that resemble the actual color of pecans, which they should since they're made 100% from pecan shells, while the Traeger pellets are considerably lighter in color. Another thing that caught my attention, some of the Traeger pellets are pretty long. It's always been my thought that sometimes these really long pellets might actually get stuck in your auger. Now looking at the smoking pecan side, I'm trying to see if I find any really long ones and I'm not. I'm really seeing more kind of a medium length along with some short ones. Also have some some short ones and the Traeger handful. I mean, some of these are like so small, so tiny. You wonder what kind of smoke do these little itty bitty pellets produce? I don't know. Just to give you a rough idea. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the length of pellets. Is there an ideal size? For the comparison today, we're gonna do smoked pork belly burnt ends. It's my wife Janine's pick. It's one of her favorites. I'm gonna do two cooks, both on my Mac One Star General Pellet Smoker. We're gonna do the first cook using the smoking pecans and the second cook using the Traeger pellets. The main things that I'm looking for is, can I tell a difference in taste between the two? Pellet smokers are traditionally known for giving off a really light smoke when compared to cooking with a charcoal based smoker or a stick burner. I'm really curious to see if the smoking pecan pellets give off a more pronounced smoke flavor than what I typically get when I use Traeger pellets or Bear Mountain or Lumberjack. The other thing I wanna see is at the end of the cook, how much ash is left over? How much ash or sawdust, how much of that is being generated during these cooks? Both of these cooks are gonna take probably at least five hours total each, but it's enough time to see if they produce any ash before I loaded the pellets, I did clean out the smoker. And at the end of the first cook, I'll take a look, see how the smoking pecans did in terms of ash, clean it out, and then we'll load in the Traeger pellets, repeat the process, and after that second cook, we'll see what type of ash is left over by the Traeger. I'll also let you guys know of any other things that I think are interesting that I observe during both cooks. You're watching the Backyard Smoke Master Barbecue channel. If you like what you see, if you're getting value from what you're seeing today, take a moment, please like the video, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, tell a friend about us, and also take a moment to check out our website, backyardsmokemaster.com where you can get more information about barbecue and keep in touch with everything that we're doing to bring you more information about grills, smokers, great recipes, and everything barbecue. The smoker is up to temperature and I wanted to give you guys a sense of what the smoke looks like coming out of the rear of my Mac One Star General Pellet Smoker. Temperature is set to 250 degrees. Again, this is with the smoking pecan 
hands. And I gotta say, there is a nice aroma out here. Now, I don't know if I'm just being more sensitive to it, knowing that these are based on pecan shells, so I was looking for it, but there is a more distinctive smoke scent in the air than what I typically recall when I'm smoking with regular pellets. Looks like we're getting a good amount of smoke coming out of the smoker here at the set temperature. Now we're ready to get the pork bellies onto the smoker. They've been seasoned, so here we go. Using the aluminum pan to catch some of the drippings. And we'll let these go for two hours before I hit the next phase. This is a look at the ash that's been left over. So basically this was a four hour and 15 minute cook. Get a closer look at the ash that's inside of the, fi the fire pot. You see there's just some leftover pellets and just a little bit of ash. So I would say this is not, not bad at all. Very efficient. We've gotten the inside of the Mac pellet smoker cleaned out, taken out all of the smoking pecan pellets and now we've replaced them with the Traeger pellets for part two of the cook. The pellet smoker has come up to temperature. So like yesterday, we're smoking at 250 degrees. This is with the Traeger pecan pellets. And my observation is that there's not as much smoke at 250 degrees as what we saw yesterday from the smoking pecans pellets. We'll see if that makes a difference throughout the cook, whether or not Janine and I can detect a noticeable difference in the smoke profile after the pork belly burnt ends are completely cooked in smoke. Here's a look at what's left over in terms of the ash with the Traeger pellets. Better look at what's left over in the fire pot. What do you guys think? Is there a significant difference? I don't think there's really an issue with either type of pellet in terms of leftover ash. We have both versions of the pork belly burnt ends. One version done with the smoking pecan and another version done with the Traeger pecan pellets. That's number one and this is number two. That's number two. You're trying number two. I am trying number two for the first time. All right, well, I'm gonna start with number one. Okay. It's good. You're all good. So this is number two. Oops. I'm not going on number one. It's, it's close. Okay, so for me, I feel like one has more flavor and two is a good, it's close, but I think two is a little bit less. That's my. What do you mean by it? More, the smoke. More smoke flavor. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. That's me. Uh, that's what I taste when I taste it. Yeah, I would agree. I think for me, number two, I almost feel like I don't really taste the smoke flavor. See, I didn't want to. Number two. Didn't really want to say that because yeah. I just felt like by saying less would be like enough. But yeah, it's kind of not there. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I'm gonna just say, you know, because we've been cooking with you know charcoal yeah. and stick burners, and that and that brings it. It definitely has a more prevalent smoke flavor. Yeah. And yeah, I don't really taste mm -hmm. the smoke flavor on number two. It's not slight a slight difference. Like it's just it's a clear difference. Right, I agree. All right. Yep. So, so I think your your test was a success. You can definitely taste the difference. So which one was one and which one was two? Okay, so as a recap again, one of them is with the smoking pecan. 
pellets, which are made from the pecan shells. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is the traditional pecan pellets, which I talked about earlier in the video, could be some type of a, a blend. Okay, well, well, which one do you think is the smoking pecan? I think it's this one, number one. Because you're thinking that Mm -hmm. being made from pecan shells is going to give more of a wood flavor. That's my working theory. Could be wrong, but that's my working theory. You're wrong. Oh. No, okay, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> number one, number one is the smoking pecan. Number two is the Traeger. Yeah. Uh, Traeger pellet. It's, it's worth it, I think, to go with the true pecan all the way. There, there, there's something definitely that it's bringing that's different than the mix. The mix is just not enough. I think, well, and I think that's kind of the downside of, of pellets in general is that, yeah. you know, they're, they're made from, I believe it's like compressed sawdust. Yeah. So it's not really as robust as what you would get from wood chunks or obviously from, you know, wood splits. I think the smoking pecan uh, company, I think they're on to something. Yeah, I do too. I, I think, think there is a, a good prevalent detectable difference yeah. in the smoke flavor between what they've put out yeah. and the typical pellet. That's just our opinion based on doing one taste test. Everything else is identical, yeah. cooked on the same smoker, same recipe, seasoned same season the same way, glazed the same way. The whole thing was identical except for the pellets. Let us know in the comments what you think. Have you tried smoking pecans? If you have, let us know what you think and how they compare to the traditional pecan pellets. Oh, and I would say, if you haven't tried them, it's worth the look. Definitely worth the look. Yeah. Thanks again for joining us on the Backyard Smoke Master Barbecue channel. If you haven't already, like the video. If you got value from it, Please subscribe, tell a friend, and leave a comment. Take care. We'll see you soon.